Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you my three to six month absolute baby must haves. Okay guys, like I said, we're here today to share all of my baby things with you. Um, I have a fussy baby in the background, so I will be hopping in and out. Um, Riker has been like going, he's at the end of a leap right now. He's just about six months old. <sighs> and it's been a little bit trying. I think he's teething too. He's just gassy or he's just uncomfy. Poor little guy. So um, hopping right into my products. I do want to mention to you guys that I am not including my breastfeeding products in this video. I know I breastfed until four months, but I will leave um, a link up here for you guys to like a couple videos that kind of jump into the products that I used while I was breastfeeding and exclusively pumping there towards the end. Um, until I dried up. So again, linked up here for you guys if you want to see any kind of breastfeeding products that I was using. All right, so like I said, I did stop breastfeeding at four months, so Riker is exclusively formula fed now, and we have just recently introduced some baby food to him as well. He is a supported sitter, so right around five and a half months, we started introducing um, some of those supported sitter foods, which I will show you a few of those right now. Um, we go off of the Gerber, like I just go off of like what stage he's at. Right now he's at stage one supported sitter, which is like at just about six months. So like I said, we just intro started introducing some of these pureed foods. Um, Anyway, all right, so first thing on my absolute must-have list while you're formula feeding is one of these containers. Yes, I know it's pink. This is actually left over from Kaya, and I swear by these things. These are so awesome. You can fit up to eight ounces worth of formula in here, so like four scoops of formula, and you can keep this directly in your diaper bag. What I'll typically do is I'll keep Komotomo bottles. Those are our favorite bottles. Um, I'll keep those in the diaper bag with um, like with water in there. So I've been doing about six ounces. That's where he's at right now. It's right around six ounce servings. So that is what I'll keep in there. Okay, so hopping into some of the other like food products. Um, I'm sorry, it's like math chaos behind me. Um, I've been doing, here's just like a few of the foods. Um, we've been doing the Gerber um, Supported Sitter, the first foods. Um, this one is prune. I have a not so happy baby boy here. So he's going to be joining us. It's impossible to record a video these days, I swear. So, no, you can't have that, buddy. So, uh, like I said, we've been doing prunes, um, sweet potatoes, along with bananas. No, I don't have it with me right now, but also apples or applesauce. We've been doing that. Um, we did skip the rice cereal oatmeal with him because Kaya reacted so badly to it and she was super constipated and I just was trying to avoid that this time so we went straight into more so of like the fruits and stuff. He's been doing super well and he loves, loves his baby food. Okay, so more to do with the feeding. Um, my favorite bibs to use right now are these like silicone bibs from Cloud Island um, at Target. I've got two of them and I honestly don't need any more than just these two. I've got this one and then I also have this one. And it's so easy because you just rinse them off um, after they're done eating and those first few times eating, they get so messy. You need to have something like this that you can rinse off super quick, super easy, and you can even throw them in the dishwasher to sanitize them. I love these bibs. I only need two versus with Kaya, we use cloth ones and we were like washing them constantly, constantly, constantly through the wash. These are so much smarter. Um, and then to go along with feeding, we've been using these Cloud Island spoons and they've got like this little um, like thing on the bottom that will, um, you can like prop it up on the table so that the spoon part doesn't hit the table. It's just a really nice spoon and it has like a silicone grippy handle. Um, now what Riker's playing with, this is one of my favorite things, and we have been using this since he was little, um, but I'm just sharing it with you guys now. So this is the grass. I'll have all of this linked down below for you guys, um, but this is, I, it's like something grass. It's by Boone, I believe. Um, so I've got the Boone grass, and this is just like their smaller one. I don't like it taking up too, too much space on my counter, but this is perfect for drying off um, bibs, bottles, spoons, things like that. I mean, you guys are, you guys know you're always like washing things. Um, this little thing like sticks here in the grass, and this will hold like, this was really nice for all of like my breastfeeding parts. I could stick on here and let them dry. Um, otherwise, I will do like the nipples for the bottles on there. 
And apparently Riker thinks this is a really fun toy. Yeah. Getting into some more bibs. So you guys have heard me talk about bandana bibs before, and I'm sure everybody uses them, but these bandana bibs, you can just get them off of Amazon. Again, I'll have them linked down below for you guys. These are absolute must-haves in our house. I put one of these on every single morning. Um, he is currently wearing one, and it's just, we use them day in and day out. He's a happy, he's a happy spitter. He's drooly because he's getting teeth in, and they're just nice to keep the clothes dry, and then if the bib gets too wet, you can just swap out the bib. Um, another bib that I've really enjoyed is the Newbie. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Newbie bibs. And on the bottom, they have like this like, chewy um like rubbery piece that they can um like chew on and it's really nice for while they're teething um and for them to like soothe on this he he loves this thing it's it's um like a silicone rubbery material anyways all right so getting into some of the bigger items here um when Riker is sitting in the living room a lot of times i'll have him just propped up on his boppy pillow um i don't use this a ton for breastfeeding. I know some women use this for breastfeeding, but I use this more so for propping him up um, to support him while he's sitting. Another must have this summer has been this Moses basket, and it's kind of hard to get the whole thing on camera, especially one-handed, um, but I'll have this link down below for you guys so you can check it out. This is amazing for when we're camping in the summer. You guys know we do a lot of camping in our camper. Um, and we go to the lake a lot. And this is so nice. I can just stick this on the bench, like right next to the bed in the camper, and he sleeps like a dream in here. This has honestly been one of the best items this summer for us, um, especially while camping. Like, even if he's not in the camper, you can like bring him to the, like by the campfire with us, and he can hang out. Or if he's ready to go to bed, he can soothe himself to bed in here. I highly recommend getting a Moses basket if you are an on-the-go family and you're traveling quite a bit, because it's a lot smaller than a pack and play. And in, from what I've experienced so far, it's worked better. It's more like a confined space, so they're not like rolling around. But anyways, speaking of that, um, getting into some of my um, sleep items, I have the Nested Beans, <laughs> a stinker. The Nested Beans sleep sacks. So they accidentally sent me a pink one. I mean, I, I'll still use it on him. But these are the sleep sacks that Riker uses. And this piece right here is a weighted piece on the chest and it's supposed to mimic a mother's touch. Um, again, this is the Nested Bean sleep sack and I absolutely swear by them. This is what Riker goes to sleep in and naps in every single day. Um, I've got that one and then also I've got one in this print, um, like little triangles. Super cute and he goes to bed within a matter of minutes when he's wearing these swaddles. And it's nice because they just strap directly over the shoulders. Um, so they have their hands free and then if they turn and roll over, that's when you wanna transition them from a swaddle to more of a sack is when they're, um, when they're starting to roll. So again, like this weighted piece is right on their chest and mimics some other's touch and just makes them feel comforted. It's just something about like that touch um, comforts them. So, um, and then one of the other big sleep pieces that we have is of course the Dr. Tot. Um, we absolutely love our Daka Tot. I told you guys this in other videos, but we swear by our Daka Tot. Um, we try not to have them sleep in it too much. It is safe for co-sleeping um, or like supervised sleeping, but we try not to have him like sleep overnight in it. There are nights that he does sleep overnight in it um, just because he likes that like comforted feeling. If he's being really fussy, we'll put him in there and he's out like a light absolutely swear by this um also nice to bring with camping um so you can just put it on the camper bed especially for, like when he was younger um this docketot was super nice for um while we were camping or for like bringing over to the grandparents house if they were going to watch him much easier than like a huge like crib or basket um getting into some toy items now for Riker. He is older now, so he's like super into his toys. Um, lots of these, I like these like squishy, like not so hard um, toys, and then things that make noise. I've got this little thing, um, like keys. I think these were Kaya's when she was younger. Um, and then another little rattle, I think this is actually off of one of his little play mats. Um, and then like a crinkly book. You wanna play with this buddy? 
He absolutely loves these crinkle books. Ooh, is that cool? Crinkle. Um, and then this thing that I've been holding, this is like his little like whoopee. Um, it's just, uh, what is it called? It's from Cloud Island. Um, it's like super silky on the inside. They sell like a bunch of different kinds. They have like a unicorn. I recently got one of my friends for a baby shower. Um, they've got this sloth and there's just a bunch of really cute ones, but he loves this and um, there are nights where I'll like lay him down with this so that he doesn't have like a full blanket. He's very much so like a snuggler. So he likes to like have something up by his face to snuggle and then he sucks on his thumb when he's putting himself to sleep. Um, so a lot of nights I'll let him lay with this and then once he falls asleep I'll go back in the room and I'll take it away just because I'm paranoid and I don't want anything else in the crib with him. But um, but yeah, this is like the perfect size, like little snuggly piece instead of giving him like a whole blanket to have up by his face. It's been kind of a struggle because I don't want blankets in the crib, but he like needs a blanket to fall asleep. So a lot of times what he'll do too from his sleep sack is he'll like pull his bottom part up because it's like looser and he'll pull it up by his face. He'll like pull his feet up and like snuggle this by his face and suck on his thumb. It's super cute, but um, I'm going to run over. I'm going to show you guys his extra saucer that we use because that is another staple. Okay, so this is his extra saucer. It was actually a hand-me-down from Kaya. And speaking of Kaya, she broke this piece off the other day. And this piece is missing, but this is just like, um, it's like a piece with like buttons and lights. It's not missing actually. It's over in this toy corner, but um, he loves this thing, especially that part. Um, underneath here, there's adjustable, like, bouncy whatever things, so he can, like, bounce on here. And then as he gets taller, you can move it down. I love this extra saucer. I might upgrade him to a different one. Um, I've had my eyes on one from Evanflow, um, but I will let you guys know if I get it, or not, get it or not. This one is cute, it does the job, and it has that, like, squishy, ball on here too that I love but um, but yeah so this is his extra saucer that he uses every single day another little toy or thing that we use every single day is this little moose on his car seat it seems like something so small and it wouldn't make a big difference but when he's fussing in the car seat having a toy like this attached is super nice or having a teether like this where like it vibrates is also super nice He's like fussing in the background. He's just not having it today, guys. All right, guys, the last thing that I wanted to show you was the munch mitt. I forgot to show you that just a second ago. Um, this munch mitt is super nice when they're teething. You just put it directly on their hands and then they can chew on it and it makes crinkly noises, which they love as well. But um, this was the last thing that I wanted to show you. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all of my like random products that I use the most day in, day out between three and six months. If you enjoyed this video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys are subscribed and join my little family here on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. I do lots of day in the life videos and 24 hours with a baby or like 24 hours with two kids. I'm a full-time working mama of two. So join my little family, see how crazy my life is like working and doing YouTube on the side and having two kids. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you on, hmm, let's see, Friday? I'll see you on Friday for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.